Hi folks, uh, Kathy Williams DeVries here, um, welcoming you to the 19th of 72 mini masterclasses on the Rosé Etudes. Uh, we're looking at number 19 of the 40. And uh, the main uh, technical difficulty of this exercise is broken chords. Um, centred mainly around C, although we go into some inter interesting um, diversions. Um, we go into a little bit of C minor. We have an E flat dominant seventh. Um, e flat of course being the re relative major of C minor and um, yeah so so various uh, different chords throughout the middle section uh, before going back to G major which is the dominant back into C um, there's some because we're dealing with A flat major in part um, we actually have some fun uh, things with uh, the E flat um, in terms of you do have to slide in a few places. Uh, for example, in the seventh line, um, you're going from an E flat to a C up to an A flat, and you really have to slide from the E flat to the. You really need to slide from the E flat to the C in order to get to the A-flat because you really can't get to the A-flat from the left hand C, it's very difficult. So... So, um... And also the line before that... Um, to slide from the D flat to the C um, or else slide from the C to the E flat um, in order to get to the A flat um, quite difficult so let's play through the thing and uh, I'll point out any technical difficulties as they come up rocks along at 104 I'll take it a bit slower than that I'll take it about 92 just for the purposes of um, the read through and then I'll do a full performance of it. So um, the first three lines, well the first three, two and a half lines are simply C major, um, D7 going to G major, it's all um, very straightforward um, and then we verge into C minor at the uh, halfway through the third line. So. <laughs> So all very straightforward. Uh, I'll turn the metronome off, it's bugging me. Um, if anything, bring out the first note of each bar as we go through uh, each chord straight change. So and then I think through F major and then G and then C G7 back to C and then we come into um, C minor so um, this is where we get to use our left hand C so let's try the first three and a bit lines again let's see if we can emphasize the first note of each bar making um, the, the chord changes a little interesting and also to bounce off it, this is a very bouncy etude, so um, we should be able to bounce off the chords. <laughs> So that 
that's all pretty straightforward. Now we get into some interesting stuff. Um, so that's a um, that's an E flat seven, which then goes into A flat. So what we've got, we've got C major, C minor, E flat seven going into A flat uh, for quite a while, and then maybe even a little bit of D flat. No, not D flat. But uh, you get the idea. Um, and then we go from A flat back into C minor. Um, and then even a diminished chord. Um, so this would be um, probably an F sharp. So back to G, uh, C minor, G, uh, and then we continue G. But let's um, let's try this next next section, and I'll point out um, where you need to slide. And here, um, here in this line, we have our split melody again, um, like in Bach. So in the two two different registers. So you want to bring those out. And then um, we go to the left hand D flat. And here's where we slide. You can probably hear the clunk of the keys. So left hand E, right hand E flat, left hand D flat going to a left hand C. So you can then whip up to the right hand E flat, left hand A flat. And that's where you don't need to slide that bar because um, you're going to a right hand C up to a top up to a um, top C so that's not the issue it's when you go from the E flat to the C and then the A flat that you need to slide between the E flat and the C and I didn't do that even though I've written slide <laughs> We've got our lovely diminished chord, even though we don't have the um, F sharp in there, it's implied. Although it leaves you a nice tritone. Leaves you a nice little tritone in there, which makes it interesting. Okay, so that's probably the nastiest bit of the piece. And the rest of it's straightforward, G's, D7's, etc. Maybe the odd F chord in there going back to C. So it's really, it's really straightforward. And I like to announce that a little bit because we've come back to the beginning. for your broken chords a little bit of staccato in there you want that really really crisp um, okay so now I played all the way through at tempo <laughs> Thank you. 
that's the 19th etude of the Rosé 40 etudes. Thanks for listening and see you next time.